okay so what we were talking about we have written simple code for achieving this purpose what you can say if I click on the ok it will give me the date a simple code we have written and for writing that code you have used three types first is registering the callback in the HTML registering the callback from what you can say JavaScript side and what you can say a combination way of both of these this is the HTML that we have written one page division then you can say one another page division with the input and you have imported one script that's what we did now what angular says on this and that is hidden inside angular first one dot x go to the developer guide right introduction and here they have told you angular js is a structural framework for dynamic web apps see angular and angular js are two different frameworks so this is what angular js and this is what angular two different website two different frameworks remember that these are nothing but what two different frameworks this is a angular right x means two and above this is the angular one this is nothing but what angular one is so these two are drastically different framework right we are going to work with this angular two right now see what what angular exactly does from this code we have written this code let's try to understand why why the frameworks like angulars are needed so for the dynamic web apps it lets you html as your templating language and it lets you extend the html syntax to express your application components clearly now see means extending the html you cannot write the for loop inside the html over here can you write a for loop inside the html not possible but angular gives you facility to write a for loop inside the html that is nothing but what you can say directives these are called as what directives okay then then if you go here angular jx takes another approach right and many things here you can read this angular js teaches the browser new syntaxes through the construct call as directive see what angular gives you a facility to have the data binding dom control structures for repeating showing and hiding the dom fragments support for forms and the form validation attaching the new behavior to the dom element such as dom event handling and grouping up of the html into reusable components why angular why angular for achieving these many things and these many things you try to achieve from the same code means all the developers all the front end programmers try to achieve these things data binding right directives they are, they are they they are about to call this as what directives then you can say forms and the forms validation right new behavior of the dom here they are talking about event handlers and here they are talking about the reusable components as a web developer you try to do these things always and from that these three approaches has came now see this is a simple approach first one everyone does that this is a little bit what you can say another approach and this is a little bit new for you the needed HTML elements can be passed from the function right and that reference you can use it here now you can relate this with something called as data binding now let me tell you how data binding can you see this my dt my dt you have connected so that my dt page division you have connected with one 
variable so from the script side that my data is represented by one variable means value of the variable is equals to value of your page division value of the page division is equals to what value of your variable that's what is what you can say data binding right there are many frameworks like what you can say knockout js knockout js which does same thing which will provide you same thing right data binding this also provides mustache js right then you have handlebars js it is for the templating right but they all have something called as data binding and this is the foundational code whatever we have written this is the foundational code for the data binding this one data binding can be achieved in this way now why angular because angular gives you all these things now i i cannot write a for loop inside my html i cannot write what for loop inside my html how shall i write for that you need to use some templating engine like handlebars is another templating engine i'll show you handlebars js if you can see a minimal templating you can say this so this title this title and this body is going to be mapped this title and this body is going to be mapped with one js variables templating right we are talking about what templating can you see this some some li line of code where context title my new post body this is this thing something like this and template dot context see this is a back end code for the handlebars of course you can do that right of course you can do that and there are many more applications like handlebars tremendous applications are available like handlebars mustache js is also available pug is also available another templating engine many templating engines are available in the market right but out of them why we select the angular right see here they have given a complete client side solution everything is based on the client side itself nothing is going to be rendered from the server of course application is going to be hosted on the web server but server side means jsp php you write a scriptlet in the jsp and that scriptlets get executed on the server and rendered over here that is not happening here see what they are happening everything you need to build a crud app right in a cohesive set like data binding basic templating directives form validation routing deep linking reusable components and the dependency injection all these are provided to you by the angular right both one and two angular does all that things now see testability we all the time forget the testing app testing is equally important to the app writing right see unit testing end to end testing mock testing and test harnesses this angular is giving you and the seed application with the directory layout and the test script as a starting point they are talking about something called as angular cli a command line utility which will help you a lot while building the angular applications how to create a component what is the industry specific how to create directive how to create a service all that things are going to be provided by the cli right now see here the zen of angular what exactly angular is or what you can say the one point of angular why should you use see this it is a very good idea to decouple the dom manipulation from the app logic this dramatically improves the testability of the code right if you can see this r code right what they are saying dom manipulation now what do you mean by dom manipulation right where dt is equals to document dot get element by id this is not a business logic you are telling browser what you are telling browser you are telling browser how to deal with the dom elements 
right you are telling the browser what exactly need to be done that is called as dom means getting the elements assigning them values this is not a business logic in this case business logic is only one line so your focus should be more on the business logic not on the app dom logic right that's what they are saying your focus should be on the dom logic sorry app logic instead of the dom logic and what happens this improves the testability of the code so here your qa need to test document dot get element id is correct or not how do you write the script if you even if you write try to write in the jasmine right then you need to first write a code for what you can say this document dot element by id this is typical or not in the jasmine means which is nothing but your test specifications there you need to check this also this need to be removed completely right okay now here it is really really good idea to regard app testing equal importance to the app writing the testing difficulty is dramatically affected by the way code is structured that's what we did here three types three ways every de developer is going to take another approach right now here what your tester need to test first you would be writing a test case for the dtclk right then you would be covering the test case or you would be covering the test case for this code and you would be covering the test case for this code so there is something called as code coverage in the testing if you have worked from the back end side or the qa side you might be getting to know that this is what you can say simple code coverage analysis whatever code you write for the every single code you need to cover in the test means one line you have written my dt dot inner html that need to be tested in the jasmine my dt reference is correct or not this function is getting called correct or not the new data object is getting formed or not right and that's what they are telling the way code is structured okay fine it is an excellent idea to decouple client side of an app from the server side of an app when you say two things if you talk about the php back end and the front end are mixed in the raw php right in the php you write a business logic but the intention of the php is to present the data not to write the business logic and that's why the frameworks like laravel came into the market so they separate the back end from the front end right that's what they are telling so this allows the development work to progress in a parallel and allows you to reuse the both sides reusability login code can be common for many applications so reuse it something what they are telling it is very helpful indeed if the framework guide developers through the entire journey from designing the ui through the business logic and testing again they are speaking about the cli so cli is going to give you full project structure right cli is going to give you what full project structure this is happening this is happening this is happening and this will help you a lot right if you can see it is always good to make a common task trivial and difficult task possible so they are telling you a modularize your application that's what the angle comes with the modules feature modules they are talking about what feature modules okay now if you can see angular js frees you from the following pains registering the callback manipulating the dom programmatically marshaling and unmarshaling the data from the ui and writing the tons of initialization code just to get started angular is freeing you from these pain points see foundation of angular js and a foundation of angular 2 is same on the both what you can say your angular is working on these principles angular is working right 
Now you will ask me one question: Why to shift from Angular JS to the new Angular that Google has released? Right. I'll give you one example. Let's go to the GitHub and CodeCool. CodeCool has its own repository on the GitHub. Anyone can access it anytime. Right. Now I'll right-click it here and inspect this thing. What is this? Time ago. Can you see? Time ago and end tag time ago. Right. Time ago is standard HTML element or what? Is it standard? This time ago. Yes or no? No, it's not. Then from where they have written? Then you might get a one question: How should I write my own tag? Right. So all these things are coming from HTML, HTML5 web components. Go to the Mozilla website, and they have defined what do you mean by the web components. Mozilla website which will give you the definition of web com component whenever HTML specification has been launched in that HTML specification they said something about what you can say web components right now see let's understand what do you mean by web component now if you say this is your complete web app and this web app is all about the page divisions and the spans page divisions and the spans so you cannot structure it properly right now whenever HTML5 has been launched for the following specifications of the HTML5 right many frameworks came into the market one of them was angular this JS and after the angular 6 they have started something called as after the angular 6 I'll, I'll go to the version 5.11 right and here they have launched something called as components right if you can see in the angular what 5 let's go to the angular 4 let me check when exactly components has came see you will find there are no components in the angular 4 fourth version of the angular i suppose angular what you can say angular 6 has came up with that idea angular 5 has came up with the idea of the components So developer guide so why it is not allowing me 1.5.1 okay this is a 1.5.1 and the components has been added now see what they are saying in angular a component is a special directive that uses a simple configuration which is suitable for the component based application architecture right this makes it easier understanding the components okay this makes it easier to write an app in a way which is using what web components or using the angular tool style of the application architecture what they are saying this makes it easier to write an application in a way that is similar to using what web components so you will get one question what do you mean by web components so from where angular 2 has came or using the angular 2 style what is the difference between foundational difference between angular 1 and angular 2 of course angular 1 supports component style guide but that is a little bit difficult to understand right and not full fledged supported the web component concept has been full fledged supported by angular 2 and the frameworks like what you can say polymer js 
this is another framework react js polymer project let's inspect it right you can inspect the project and you will find some things I would like to show you that okay let's go here and see how how the code is working can you see custom greeting they have created their own elements and light element follows the web component standards if you see same web page we are so what do you mean by the web components first it is very clear that angular polymer and react and all other terms that are following or that are sitting on the top of some specifications and what are that specifications that specifications are web components see web component is a suit of different technologies allowing you to create the reusable custom elements with their functionality encapsulated away from the rest of your code and utilize them in your web apps right now see when you talk about web components what they are saying it's it aims to solve such problems it consists of three main technologies custom elements shadow dom and the html templates now what do you mean by the custom elements let's let's see so when you say web components so when i'm going to say what web components right when i'm saying web components that is sitting on the top of three things html imports custom elements and the shadow dom right here you can say html import custom element and shadow dom shadow dom let us analyze one by one now have you imported the html in your code have you imported the html in another html importing one html into another html means what's happening is that i have written one navigation bar and i have written one footer right i have written one navigation bar and i have written one footer and i want to copy that into the 25 pages what you will do for the footer you are going to get all the page division for the header you are going to get all the page divisions and you are going to paste that code separately but what if you get one element called as my nav what if if you have the facility to create your own element my nav or here and my footer so instead of writing pasting that code you would be creating my nav my footer in the 25 pages similarly if you want to create your own table you can say my table here i can have my table my own element my table my header my footer so you are creating your own elements okay now whenever you create this my table right whenever you create this my table what things you need to do actually you would be doing what you can say actually you would be doing you would be creating some html for it right you would be writing some javascript for it right so how my table will look like for example go to the polymer if you have see so render this html so your tag name is what custom greeting and for the custom greeting what you are going to render you are going to render this html if you want to define properties you can define whatever it is but what you can say if there is a tag called as custom greeting you are going to load 
or you are going to have this markup presented on your screen means what we are doing when we say my tab my tab would be having its own js to give you click on the cell cell click listener column click listener row click listener so it would be having its own js right and it would be having its own markup to render so when you talk about one element element has its own js and element has its own markup right and this own js or or these things run behind the element these things are nothing but what behind the elements when you talk about markup it consists of the css selectors and what html right when you talk about the js you are talking about the events how many events it is having how many properties it is having and other things so if you are to create your own what you can say element you need to follow the guidelines of the html5 web components specification and these are nothing but this well angular follows all that guidelines what i'm telling you angular follows all those guidelines and on that guidelines angular has given you many utilities other frameworks are also there but angular is supreme one of them it is not a library it's a framework with the core concepts of web component it gives you all the things all other things also so from where angular has born from the what you can say feeling of getting connected with what you can say web components so angular is nothing but what the web components are remember that and that's what the future is writing your own web components and that's what you did here so i'll show you simple angular code what i mean to say so one of the code we are working with see here now component is this component, component file, file and, and which is written, written typically in the typescript this is written typically in what typescript and every component has its own html and its own css that's what the markup is its own html and its own css so if you run this much code so let me open this code and i can say npm start it will start loading something so don't worry about this what is npm start and other things over the period of time you'll get to know that things right but i would like to show you one component when you talk about the component component is always having one selector component is always having its html component is always having its what css likewise this see so it's building 11% has been done okay and then you can say localhost 4200 on this part it is working go to the inspector and the inspector you can find what is this app login app login is not html element you created it app login is nothing but what your login component if you can check it every component has its own selector every component has its own html and every component has its own css if you can see it's html this is html if you can see css this is css before starting the angular you should know why angular and from where angular related terms are coming from and all those terms are coming from web components remember that 
all these frameworks are sitting on the top of these specifications right so that's all about what you can say little bit about why how and what angular is right